Okay, it is Thursday morning. We're at Bayview. Uh, we're having this return customer here. Um, as, uh, I get I answer a lot of questions on these videos when it comes to squirrels and stuff. Squirrels are not supposed to be wildlife. are supposed to be wildlife, not supposed to be pets. But um, I think when it comes to the gray squirrel, because they've done so well in captivity, someone somewhere, some USDA breeder or some breeder who wants to get into them is going to get a permit for USDA breeding. Get a pair and then start to to make um, to make them and sell them, which will make them completely legal, and of course the world can say nothing about it. In the meantime, this one fell out of a tree. There are those patients like this one here that fell out of a tree. If you'll notice, there is a pretty if I can get my thing in here. There's a pretty sharp angle um, around this on his nose. It's not straight like most squirrels do because when this guy fell out of a tree, he actually broke his nose just behind his nostrils there, and then. Uh, what happened was he got to the point where he uh, his teeth grew crooked. So we have to fix them on a regular basis. <laughs> What's neat about these guys, it turns out that Mississippi has a loophole in the law that I'm probably going to make here um, uh, official. Uh, it turns out that if there there are people out there that have that hunt squirrels and use squirrel dogs and that type of thing. So Mississippi has a rule in law that says if you get a small game hunting permit, you are able to keep up to six of most non-regulated and huntable animals as a way to train your dogs to then hunt them when the time comes. So it also, and, and specifically not just those, you know, for the managed ones, there's still some question marks, you know, and squirrels are managed. Um, but when it comes to things like turtles and stuff like that, as long as they're not threatening endangered, threatening endangered species, as long as they're not being managed by the state or the, or the federal government, then ordinarily you can keep up to six of any type of specimen. So as a general rule, whenever I go to, the, to get my fishing license every year, I always get a small game hunting permit. One, to make sure that that rule still stays in effect. And two, just to cover my butt, just in case I end up coming across a bunch of squirrels.